Now take a moment and try this on your own. So think about what might happen if you were to find the signal x2 of t. So we should hope that this signal x2 of t is going to contain some term of m2 that is found by itself so that we could pass this x2 signal through a low pass filter just like x1 so that we could recover the original message. So apply this uh, to find x2 and you may find this double angle identities useful again. So now please pause the video and see if you can find an expression for x2 of t where you have the message to as a term by itself. Okay, hopefully you took a moment to pause the video and find an expression for x2 of t. If you apply these to these identities and follow a similar procedure as we did before, where you substitute the QAM signal in, then you distribute, then you apply the identities, then you continue to apply some identities, you will finally arrive at this expression at the bottom where you can see that the second term does indeed contain the message to by itself. And this is what we hope for since we know just like x1 of t, x2 of t could be passed through a low pass filter to recover the message 2 by itself. And this might look something like this where we can see x2 in the frequency domain. And of course, we'd be able to put this through a low pass filter.